Hello, friends, and what a joy it is to be able to come back into your presence today to share with you a ray of hope by way of coffee and conversation coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. A wonderful way to get this new day started, a fresh cup of hot coffee. Well, today I want to share a thought with you that I've titled, Living the Truth. In Psalm 26, verse 2 and 3, the Bible says, Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart, for thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. You know, my friend, when I think about that passage of Scripture, we can read God's Word. We can listen to God's Word. Uh, ways have been made possible for us to listen if we don't like to read. We can be moved by the truth and the candor of God's Word. Yet if we read the truth, if we hear the truth, and we do not live the truth, then reading or hearing the truth turns out to be a meaningless exercise. You see, my friend, when we read God's truth and understand His truth, we must live our life like the truth has meaning to us. In every way possible, we must live out God's truth. We must not try to pacify our soul by only speaking or writing about the truth because God sees us from the inside out, not from the outside in, but from the inside out. When we speak or write the truth, but we don't live the truth, the Lord knows of what we're doing. You see, we can fool many people. But there's no way that we can fool God at all. He knows all things. In living our life, we must seek to live every minute, my friend, as if every minute is our last minute. We must live our life as if God is watching us every minute because, hey, I've got news for you. God is watching we do not need a second chance, even though God is a God of second chances. But we do not need a second chance to live out the truth because we have a first chance right now and we can live out the truth in Christ Jesus. We can choose to live a lie and tell others and tell ourselves that the Lord has fallen asleep on his throne. But you need to know that uh, we know in the deepest part of our soul that God is fully awake. We know in our soul that he's fully alive within us if we're saved by the grace of God every moment. He's, he doesn't sleep. He doesn't slumber. And for that reason, we should live out his truth. The precious pages of God's word is our road map for living. Just as you follow a road map or a GPS system to get you to where you're going, my friend, we need to follow God's word to carry us through this life. And we must live out the truth of God's word. Pray with me. Father, we thank you for your word today, for it is our GPS map for spiritual living. And help us use it and help us live it every day. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Well, my friend, remember to go out into your world today to make a big difference. Smile as you go. Hey, your life may be the only Bible that some will ever read. So let others see the Lord Jesus in you. Have a great day.